Following the departure of James Madison, the Colonial has brought in Stony Brook, Monmouth, and Hampton. Stony Brook originated on Nassau County's Oyster Bay at State University College on Long Island before relocating to Suffolk County's Stony Brook in 62. Stony Brook was recently designated the flagship university of the state of New York along with Buffalo in January. Stony Brook is one of 66 AAU research universities. They have an enrollment of 26,000, an endowment of 360 million, and the ranked top 100 by U.S. News in Shanghai. The athletic teams of the school were originally named the Sound Men or Bay Men in the 1950s before men's basketball was founded at the D3 level in 1960 and the athletic teams were renamed the Warriors. They would be renamed again in 66 to the Patriots. Football would be founded at the D3 level in 84. Stony Brook would move up to Division II in 95 and change their name from the Patriots to the Seawolves. They then moved to D1 quickly in 99 and football joined the Colonial in 2012. Stony Brook has been to one NCAA tournament. Here is Stony Brook's conference history as an independent in the Knickerbocker Conference, the Skyline Conference, the old NEWC, and then eventually America East and now the Colonial. Monmouth was founded as Monmouth Junior College in 1933. It was originally a nighttime junior college at Long Branch High School. In 56, it became Monmouth College after it acquired its own campus on Shadow Lawn in 55 and became a four-year school in 56. Monmouth College would become Monmouth University in 95. And in 17 years, Monmouth has risen from number 76 regionally in U.S. News to number 18 regionally today. And Monmouth has appeared in the Forbes ranking for the first time this year at number 394. Monmouth has been Division I since 1983. They've been to four NCAA tournaments. As a 16 seed in 2006, they gave Villanova a run for their money for about 30-35 minutes. Monmouth received AP votes in 2016 as they notched wins over UCLA, Notre Dame, USC, Georgetown, and Rutgers. And they play at the beautiful Ocean First Bank Center. At the Division I level, Monmouth was first in the ECAC Metro, which eventually became the NEC, before moving in 2013 to the Metro Atlantic, and now the Colonial in 2022. Hampton is an HBCU that was founded in 1868. One of its earliest students was Booker T. Washington. Hampton is ranked number 202 by U.S. News. They have an enrollment of about 3,000. Their endowment has exploded from $280 million to $400 million over the past year and a half. Hampton has had the same president since 1978, and Hampton has had a public goal to join the Colonial ever since they moved up to Division I in 1995. In fact, when they announced that move in 95, their athletic director, Dennis Thomas, stated that the school's ultimate goal was to join the Yankee Conference for football and the CAA for all other sports. Ironically, Dennis Thomas would be the MEAC commissioner when Hampton left the MEAC for the Big South. Hampton plays in the Good-sized Hampton Convocation Center. Hampton has been to six NCAA tournaments all the 21st century. They upset two-seed Iowa State 58-57 in 2001 in Boise. Hampton ended the game on a 10-0 run to win by one. It was the fourth 15-over-2 upset of all time. As the image of Coach Steve Murfell being picked up into the air is replayed every March Madness. The CIAA was founded on Hampton's campus in 1912, Hampton would move up to Division I in the MEAC in 95, and then they would shift to the Big South in 2018, and now to the Colonial in 2022. Here are the institutional profiles for the Colonial. Stony Brook's 26,000 enrollment will rank at the top of the CAA. Hampton's $400 million endowment would rank in the top half of the Colonial. The Colonial is a strong league academically, as 10 schools rank in the top 202 of U.S. News. Half the league, Northeastern, Stony Brook, Drexel, Delaware, William & Mary, and Elon rank in the top 103 of U.S. News. Four of them rank in the top 90 of Shanghai, Northeastern, Stony Brook, Drexel, and Delaware. And Stony Brook is one of 66 AAU research schools. Pretty much the entire Colonial is in or near large markets. Elon's MSA ranking is pretty misleading as it's not far from Greensboro or the Research Triangle. And all 12 colonial schools are within 50 miles of a top 125 airport. These are the athletic budgets of the colonial. The top 
row is their total athletic budget, and then the bottom row is how much of their athletic budget is left after you subtract scholarship money. Stony Brook's athletic budget is near the top of the CAA, and Monmouth's is in the top half. And when you subtract scholarship money from the athletic budget, Stony Brook is number two, and Monmouth is top five. These are the men's basketball budgets of the Colonial, and they're ranked within Division I. Monmouth is second in the Colonial and 139th nationally. Stony Brook is fifth in the Colonial and 154th nationally. For three-year rolling attendance in men's basketball pre-COVID, Hampton would be second in the league behind College of Charleston. North Carolina Wilmington, William & Mary, Stony Brook, and Delaware would round out the top half. And finally, the NCAA tournament appearances and then wins for each school. I've excluded play-in slash first four wins. Northeastern has won a couple NCAA tournament games in Hampton, North Carolina, Wilmington, College of Charleston, and Drexel have all won a game in the NCAA tournament. Stony Brook was already in Colonial football. Colonial football was down to 11 schools after the departure of James Madison. And now Colonial football will be up to 13 schools with Monmouth and Hampton added to the league. Here are the football budgets for the 13 Colonial football schools and then their rank within FCS. Everyone in the Colonial will have a top 51 FCS budget. William & Mary, Delaware, Stony Brook, Richmond, and Villanova are all in the top seven, while Monmouth is number 12. And here are the number of appearances in the D1AA slash FCS playoffs and their number of national titles at D1AA slash FCS. Delaware, Richmond, and Villanova all each have won a title. And here's the three-year rolling attendance average in football pre-COVID, along with stadium capacity. Delaware led Colonial football in three-year attendance average at over 15,000.